we are building a non-inverting amplifier to achieve a positive voltage gain greater than one the non-inverting amplifier in figure two is going to be used for the op amp circuit the voltage gain is calculated by we have our av which is the voltage gain and it's equal to the v out over our v input and this is from our waveform and then this is also equal to one plus the resistor two over the resistor one we have a key concept that op amp circuits use negative feedback around a voltage amplifier this is our op amp in this case it has a very high open loop voltage gain typically greater than 100 db to trade this high open gain for high accuracy in the closed loop voltage gain we want to design a circuit in figure two to achieve a voltage gain of three plus minus ten percent and we are going to construct this in our spice simulation so my partner has already done the spice simulation they have also already done the calculations and a description for this in the lab report my lab partner chose the resistor one to be one kilo ohms and resistor two to be two kilo ohms so if we do this we calculate the voltage gain here we want the voltage gain to be three so we would have two over one plus one that gives us three and so that's how our resistor values would check out and now we're going to build the circuit on the breadboard so this is the previous circuit that we've had and this was for figure one dot b and now we are just going to edit it a little bit so we're going to take out all of these wires make sure that the waveform is off so there's no power going to it and unplugging these gives us a lot more room on our breadboard we are also going to take out these resistors mostly because i forgot what values they are and we are going to put in new ones so we know our r2 is going to be two kilo ohms i'm going to grab a pack from this two kilo ohm resistor and pull it out um, it's good to use a multimeter to actually measure the value of the resistor however um, I already have the calculations done in the lab but if I did not I would measure this value and calculate the actual gain to calculate the actual gain um, or to calculate the actual resistance of this because we need the actual resistance and then we're going to take it subtract it by the measured value and then divide it by that value multiply it by 100 to get the percent difference because that is important um, and so now we can connect this our r2 is going to go into a node with our negative so we see that previously we went from the negative input to the v out but instead here we're going to go from a the negative input to a node so we're going to have to create this node we're going to take this wire and we can go from negative input and we'll make a node over here we can put it in any free column or free row and we'll put it in here and then from here we need our r2 to go to v out so we're going to take this resistor of two kilo ohms and we are going to place it in here and then we want it to go to v out we know that this is our voltage output this pin right here the pin six and so we're just going to push it in like that and now we have our r1 so our r1 is going to go to ground we're going to grab a one kilo ohm resistor we're going to pull this bad boy out of here and then we are going to take it we're going to put it in the same column as our node so we can see that both resistors are in the same column as our node and then we're going to put it in the ground which is our negative rail right here and so it's going to look like that and that is our circuit so far now we need voltage input going into our pin three of the op amp because this is the plus input and so we're going to take our voltage input which is the yellow wire from the analog discovery 2 and then we are going to put it inside of this pin 3 so that is the input there and that's how our circuit's going to look now these two wires are just for monitoring so did for monitoring the waveform so we're going to monitor our output voltage so it goes in there that's the sixth pin it's monitoring and then this one is going to monitor our input so it's going to go with our yellow wire into the pin three and then just we're going to make sure our connections are tight for here and here and so that is going to be our circuit uh, we could double check our connections we know that our power did not change we know that we have a wire coming out of our negative input it's going to a node here we know that our resistor one the one kilo ohms is going to ground and then we know that the other one is going to go straight into our voltage output we're monitoring the output with the blue wire and the input with the orange wire and we're giving our op amp the voltage input 
with this yellow wire. And so that is going to be our circuit. Now from here, we can go into the waveforms. We're gonna click run all, we're gonna click run, and we'll click master enable on. And we see that we get a wave that looks like this. And if I wanted a screenshot, I would export and then copy this to clipboard. And that is something that I would include in my lab. And we can see that the peak to peak, this one, our C2, channel two is our voltage output. Channel one is our voltage input. And we have this um, three volts, one volts here. So obviously if we divide these, we get a voltage gain of three, which is the same as our resistance. Now we have some percent error, but that is accounted for in our lab. And so mine look like this. Instead of using a one and a two kilo ohm resistor, I actually use a 10 kilo ohm and a 20 kilo ohm resistor. I had two kilo ohms connected in series, but it's gonna give us the approximate same result. And I just took the values and I calculated the percent error um, for both the voltages, the peak to peak, and the resistors. And so that is how we would breadboard this and we would waveform and put this in our lab report. Next, we're going to be looking at the inverting amplifier.